Hello, welcome or welcome back to today's class. We will work with the upper body, the ribs of the upper body. The first rib can be found right behind or under the clavicles, the clavicle bones. And then there's also ribs here in the underneath the armpits and muscles in between the ribs that hold tight. And the ribs, of course, they go all around. And by improving this upper area, we might feel immediate improvements in the lower back, in the hips, and even in the knees. It all connects quite dramatically so. But this area here is notoriously difficult to access and to work with, except with the method we are using and the movement sequence I came up with. And I'm going to present you today and we can work together through it today. So I play a long video as always, of course. So uh, we will start in side lying. Please come to lie on your left side. Let's start on the left side. for your left arm. If you can, by any means, place the arm up, upwards on the floor and rest your head, as your left arm, up, rest your head on your left arm and the legs a little bit bent on top of each other. So this setup might be quite tight, might not go up all the way. So do your best in supporting yourself with cushions. For example, if this is really tight, take a cushion and place it under your left armpit. So the angle of your left arm into your shoulder isn't that steep. So this will make it a bit easier. And then Cushion your head, prop yourself up, make yourself, make your bed, <laughs> make it easy for you, make it comfortable, set yourself up in a way you can rest for 15 minutes on one side. As always, we take a minute to uh, arrive or a few seconds to arrive on the floor on the left side. To ease down, calm down, feel the floor. Mm -hmm. Feel your left shoulder, <laughs> probably easy to feel, and the left armpit area, the ribs at your left armpit, how your chest is pressing against the floor. Can you feel that? Can you breathe against the floor? When you breathe in, breathe in the left side of your chest to feel the floor, how your ribs press and the area on your belly and your left, left hip joint and how you feel your legs are resting and your head and your hand. And the first movement we're going to do, we'll make it a bit easier for this position, is the first movement is to lift off the chest, the left side of your chest, lift it off the floor. A, a bit, a bit. <laughs> Just make it a little bit lighter. At the same time, you could think that your right side of your chest is going towards the ceiling. That's like a 3D imagery. The right side is going up 
towards the ceiling and the left side is lifting away from the floor which means your left side is contracting you're forming an arc arch arc on your left side the left side the whole left side and becomes shorter contracting we've done this in the last two videos to become aware of the contraction of the sides so you contract and you pull your left arm you almost pull on your left arm by means of contracting your left side and you can feel your pelvis rolling in this regard so how to improve on that even further extend your right leg or play with your right leg use your right leg as a counterweight to pull on your right side on your right hip joint so you think about reaching downward with your right foot extend your right leg downwards or your toes point your toes downwards and by doing so you're pulling on your right side and by doing so you're working more into this arch you're pulling on your left shoulder you're pulling your whole chest and your head which direction is your head moving yes downwards your head presses against the floor as an extension of your spine a little bit not too much <laughs> let go again rest on your left side and then build it again a little start to pull maybe with your right leg or with your right hip joint or contract your left side actively to pull on your left shoulder and hold it hold it hold it pull on your left shoulder more and feel so sense the details when you pull on your left shoulder do you contract the area in your left shoulder the area between your chest and your arm does it contract and resist the opening what are the details that only you can feel sense make out and every time you let go again maybe your left arm can rest a little bit more comfortable because we have been contracting the left side the, the side that has been too short anyways if that was uncomfortable and when you let go there's more space the left side can be longer and when the left side can be longer it means it can rest more comfortably and when you rest notice where do you hold tension you don't need you can let go and the better you know yourself the better you can feel and sense the easier it is to make out places where there's tension you don't need we want harmony we just let go we ease into this position And then it's time for a short rest on the back so please come to roll just roll onto the back <laughs> and feel how it is the inventory 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 how your left shoulder area feels differently to your right one from this little contraction and letting go or is it a breathing lesson 
breathing, 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 breathing. So please come back onto your left side. Roll onto your left side. Again, extend your left arm upwards. Rest your head on your left arm, if possible. And then we do the other direction, which means to press your, the area of your shoulder blade or your left armpit against the floor. So start to press your left side more and more against the floor. You push, uh, you lean against the floor with your left side. which means your head will come up, which means your right side contracts. So another way to think of it is to contract your right side, to shorten your right side. Your right armpit comes closer to your right hip joint. You might even lift off your right foot while keeping your knees together or lift off your right leg. Why not? To work into this curve where you press the left side in against the floor, you lean against the floor and now with the little addition you think of pushing your left hand, your left arm upwards on the floor. So you're pushing the area of your left armpit against the floor while pushing your left shoulder upwards. Put everything together. And let go again. And when you let go, see how you can let go. The details of letting go. And then again you push. And this in this video, think about you push your left arm up away in the direction of where your head is, maybe. So you, you push your left arm alongside the floor as you, you want to crawl your left upper arm on the floor. The left shoulder distances itself from the chest, from the ribs, away. And you lean against this area, and you lift your head. And the right side shortens, contracts, while the left side lengthens. So play with this for a little bit, a little while. And you can play with it small, minimally, so I wouldn't even see that you're moving. Just a building of tension and a letting go of tension. It's a delicate way of working. Or you could hold your head, you go into the pattern of pressing your left side against the floor, lifting your head, and you stay in this curve and you observe how it is to hold the tension, to build the tension, to hold the tension, to maintain the tension. See, where do you have to tighten a bit more? <laughs> Where can you let go so the tightening becomes easier?
so this was the main part of the video and now we will do a couple of things around that this was one plane of movement side bending to the left side bending to the right now lean with your right hand in front of you on the floor and roll allow yourself to roll a little bit forwards so your whole body like a big bottle barrel bottle or a stick <laughs> you roll forwards and uh, backwards ever so slightly smoothly and your head you can have your head roll on the floor to fall behind your left arm or to roll over your left arm So we use this movement rolling forwards and backwards and at the same time you can think of the side bending we did lifting the head would be pressing your left side against the floor while you roll forwards and backwards or you press your head down and you lift your left side so it's the other way to side bend while you roll or any mix thereof So now you're just rolling a little bit forwards and backwards and you focus on the details of how to do that and how is it to bring tension into the spine by side bending, by lifting the head or by lowering the head, rolling forwards a bit and backwards a bit. and taking pauses. So maybe have a short rest on the back. Just to have a short, a short stop here. Feel on the back, how you're lying on the back. Yes, so maybe you already feel, ah, it's not just the left shoulder, but it's also the left hip joint that relaxed and the left leg is lying differently than the right leg, the whole left side. Of course, the arm might be a little bit tired because of the position, but maybe you're <laughs> sunk to the hole to the left. Different perception of the left side, but also the organization already started to change quite a bit. Then again, come onto your left side, so roll on your left side with your left arm up, your head resting, so it might feel easier, so the organization is improving. And we have one last plane of movement, which is to push the chest forwards. Yes, yeah, so the, we push the chest forwards, which brings the head backwards. So extension, but we start with moving the spine. You move your sternum forwards, or you could breathe in to the upper part of your chest, which brings your head backwards, and then you breathe out and come back. So again, your head might roll down from, or shift down from your arm but backwards this time into an arch going backwards or you can go into the other direction to breathe into your back to push the upper part of your back backwards and shorten your front side or does this work better on a breathe out 
So we could combine the motion of bending forwards and bending backwards. And always you can use your right hand to feel your chest, to feel the different ribs on your chest. So we had side bending, rolling, and bending forwards and backwards, and we can combine those directions into smaller or larger circles. With the focus of the left armpit, of being able to lean against the left armpit, the ribs in this area, or to lift them off, or to roll on them forwards and backwards, or to open them on the front side and close them on the back side, or open them on the back side and close, you know, get the idea. And in, it's almost like a self-massage of yourself on the floor when you move your head on the floor in circular motions and your armpit and you slide a little bit over the floor. Isn't it? It can be so nice. Our relationship to the floor. Hello. Floor, I, I love you so much. And <laughs> you can rub your head and lift your head and roll <laughs> and just make yourself comfortable against the floor. <laughs> With all those movements in mind, so we have a system and we know where we are in space and we know what we're doing and what we're trying to achieve. But at the same time, why not feel so nice and connect in such a loving way? <laughs> and then enough of it and roll back onto your back and just feel how it is to be on your back now. So, in truth, have we worked with both sides already, haven't we? But we focused on the left armpit. So, to be fair, let's turn around and come to lie on your right side. Just have a look how it is for your right arm. Yes, good question. Why put the left hand in front of the chest? Could go just as well onto the left side. So we started with a contraction. 
No, so first we started with making ourselves comfortable. First step on the right side and feel how it is on the right side, easier or worse. And how you lie against your right armpit and the ribs, the chest, the upper part of the chest on the right side. And to ease a bit more, to give it a bit more ease, we started by contracting the right side, by lifting off the right side, lifting off the right side from the floor, where you could think the left side towards the ceiling, and by dragging the top part of the chest on the right upper quadrant, the upper rightest part of your chest downwards, away from your right arm. So we separate the right arm, right arm, clavicle and shoulder blade, the right shoulder blade stays on the floor and the chest pulls away from the right arm that is resting on the floor. Or you could use your left leg, extend your left leg down. To work into this curve. Slowly, slowly, a little bit, little by little. Can be a very, very small movement. Mm -hmm. Or let go and then the other direction to press the right armpit against the floor and to lift the head. And by, that's the idea in this video, to push the chest up so the chest can push the right armpit up away to slide the right arm on the floor upwards and awaywards. <laughs> Down and up. Or rolling forwards and backwards. So roll forwards, let your head roll on the floor forwards or backwards behind your right arm or in front of your right arm. Or the third plane of movement the extension and flexion, forwards bending and backwards bending, just to be clear about the movements, and then of course any any mix thereof. So we have a map, a map of movement in our mind, a map to name the parts and where they are going. with the focus on the uppest part of the chest. <laughs> and again, after the series, the series working through the direction, we can just go freestyle and <laughs> enjoy ourselves on the floor. Always with the intention of this today's lesson and purpose of organizing, of improving, getting more flexibility, mobility into this hard, usually hard to reach areas of the chest, but you can feel how you can find them, address them, work with them. It's quite obvious suddenly, isn't it? 
even though it what might also be obvious are the shortcomings where the muscles are too weak uh, where you can feel uh, difficult tight doesn't go as far as it used to <laughs> or could and that's something you can work on on the longer term by repeating this lesson this movement sequence okay so for a last time let's come back onto the back and feel how it is to rest in a, on the on the back and how you breathe against the floor and or against the room to all sides how easy that has become <sighs> how lovely it is just to rest on the floor What else do you notice? What else relaxes? Feels more at ease, better organized, more orderly, less painful, more comfortable. And then it's time to come up to end the video and just take a moment to see how it is in standing. How do you perceive your upper chest? movement possibilities now isn't that quite something and how it relates to the to the rest of the body all right so thank you so much for your support for making these videos possible in the first place Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.